Hello. Good day to you. This is Potion Craft. Um, I think it might be one of these games where I already know <clears throat> that I'm not going to care. Settings. Sound. So I can't use the up and down, but I can use the thumb. I'll do. Confirm. But I can only use the thumbsticks. Contr controls. Controller layout standard. What? Okay, I'll just fucking... Is that it? The game settings is the language. So do you want to just say language settings then? Ah, oh, fuck. All right, new game. The story begins. You are a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. You found an, o you found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced, practiced alchemy. <laughs> Apparently a wizard used to live here. But the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest it might have been that it has been empty for a long time. Fuck, in reading a book, you decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills, even though it's been a week, and start this new life in a new town. No, the edge of town. Thank you. Adding ingredients to the cauldron. Oh, God. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron. To move ingredients, select on it with L, press and hold A, drag it to the cauldron and let go. Pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall. It shows you the path of the ingredients, the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. Ah, so I've got to take two terrarias and two water blooms. What's that? There. Why did that go on the floor? After adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. There in the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir. Press and hold A and move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired potion. Position. Stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience points. Accumulating experience lets you level up, but has no effect on the current potion. Okay. So. Right. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. To find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat the cauldron to the desired temperature. Take the bellows by the handle and continue blowing on the coals until there is an explosion over the cauldron. Okay. Pump. Pump. Finishing a potion. Perfect. You've added a new effect to the potion. Healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. Grinding ingredients. A mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends. They don't have any friends. 
You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredient and unlock their potential. This helps you create some the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using just one terraria and one water bloom. Take terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar and grind it up with the pestle until it turns to mush. The more you grind an ingredient, the longer path the ingredient will make on the alchemy map. Once it is added to the cauldron. Okay, so we'll take that terraria and we put it in there. And we take this and we go slush, 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 slush. Take the ingredients, put it in there. Plop. Water bloom. Stir the cauldron. Heat the saving a potion recipe. Blah blah blah. Save recipe. Thank you. Finishing a potion. Nicely done. Moving between rooms. You are the owner of a potion shop. And your task is not only to brew potions, but also sell them to customers. A customer has arrived. Go to the shop. For moving between rooms, use the cross key. So that we do finally use it then. To go to the shop, press that way. <clears throat> Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose. But it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most common potions on hand just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. Okay. Well, hello. Uh, offer a potion for sale. Take it from your inventory and place it on the right side of the scale. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even get it up. Get up. He has a fe he has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? To offer a potion, place it on the scale. Why are you why are you telling me that? Okay. Weak p weak potion of healing. If they're both weak potions of healing why do they have the same in ingredients but one that larger ingredients in one my husband uh, blah, blah, blah. i'll buy this potion but i won't pay very much all right just put this down here i'm not reading any of that haggle Oh. Lack of suitable oh. end dialogue. Complete the tutorial first. Enchanted garden. Right, let's go to the enchanted garden. Gathering ingredients. Okay. That, get that. Right. Okay. Mixing a potion. Let's put that in here. Shifty, 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 shifty. Put that in there. Put that in here. Shifty, 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 shifty. There we are. And put that in there. Give it a stir. Leave go. And go. Poof. Finish making the potion. Save recipe. Finish potion. Turn to the shop. Here, have this. 
Sell for 13. That'll do now. Fuck off. Uh, once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have the rest. A rest in your bedroom. It is located above the laboratory. Go to the bedroom to end the day. And go above. To end the day, click on the bed and confirm you want to end the day. And not only do I want to end the day, I want to end my fucking life playing this. What a pile of fucking shit. Goodbye.